If you put in your head that you go out and you do massive deals, guess what happens? You find massive deals. What we focus on, what we focus on increases, right? What we focus on is what we find. Check this out. Oh, I love today's show. I love it. I love it. We're going to be breaking down the actual call from this deal that we just closed. And I am going to show you, I guess, show you and you're going to hear exactly what a $150,000 net profit plus, plus, plus could be more. And I'll show you why what it sounds like because i know that you're out there and you're making those calls and i know that you're out there and you're building up your endurance and you're building up your confidence and you're doing everything that you can to be a better real estate entrepreneur but sometimes it just takes a little spark sometimes you just have to see the evidence you have to hear it you have to feel it of what a call goes like what an actual cold call recording sounds like when somebody just is a lay down and it is a big massive deal so i'm so excited to share all this with you check this out right here you see this right here sixty eight thousand dollars right sixty eight thousand is what we just closed on this property for now check this out look at this neighborhood look at this neighborhood right here 323 320 259 right here you've got a 300 right here this is a neighborhood once this property is fixed up goes for three 325 and we got it for sixty eight thousand dollars i am telling you this if you put in your head that you go out and you do massive deals guess what happens you find massive deals what we focus on what we focus on increases right what we focus on is what we find all right we have to put our energies we have to put our confidence we have to believe we have to have that faith that we can go out there and find big massive deals and we can do it every single month we can do it every single week maybe but check this out. Let's jump right into this recording because I think let, let's let's make sure that the proof is in the pudding here. All right. Check this out. This is my caller, Fran. All right. She is with a company uh, called Motivated Sellers. I've used them for years and years and years and years, over four years. And Fran has been with me for three years. Now, Fran is straight to the point. There's some things that I would change up here in this cold call breakdown, but Fran is like direct to the point with these calls. And sometimes it just works out masterfully. So check this out. This is three years. Now, Fran has probably talked to 100,000, 150,000 property owners here in Phoenix or in the Arizona and um, in the Port St. Lucie markets. And uh, so she's got a lot of experience. She can really feel when she needs to pull away. She knows when she needs to dig a little bit deeper. So check this out. All right. Let's Hi there. I was looking for Gary. This is Gary. Um, sir, my name's Fran. I'm calling to ask you about a property. It's just wanted to mm -hmm. see if you might consider an offer on that property there. So she goes straight at it, right? She doesn't say this is out of the blue. She doesn't say, I know this is a random call. She goes, I'm just calling about your property and see if you would consider an offer on your property there. Boom, right at it. Watch this. Now, remember, remember when you ask somebody if they would consider an offer on their property, there's only six responses. Yes, no, maybe in the future. How much will you give me? Who are you and how'd you get my number? Six responses. So if you want to be able to feel confident responding to those six responses, just learn the responses to those. Just l understand there's only six things that people can say to you, right? So don't be on your back foot like, oh my gosh, they, they threw out how much will you give me and I didn't know what to say. There's ways to respond to that. It's all in the TTP script. 
So if you don't have that, it's in ttpinsider.com. It's free. Go check that out. But let's continue with this cold call breakdown because it's phenomenal. I am telling you, in under three minutes, I wrote it right here, under three minutes, this deal is going to be bananas, $150,000, $170,000 under three minutes. Check this out. Mm, I don't live there. I mean, it goes in my name. It's my ex-wife that's living there, and I've been trying to get rid of that damn house. And she is just not helping out in he doesn't live there. His ex-wife lives there. Let me give you a little bit of story here, okay? That him and his ex-wife got a divorce nine years ago. In the divorce decree, it said that she had to get him off of the loan in six months, six months or a year. I think it's six months though, if I remember correctly. So she had to go and get her own financing for this property, or she had to sell the property nine years ago. She hasn't done any of that, and she hasn't made a payment in nine years. She doesn't pay him rent. She doesn't pay the mortgage. He's been paying on this property for nine years. He's sick and tired of it. So he has to go back to the courts and say, hey, listen, she is she did not do what was agreed on in the divorce decree. What can happen now? And the courts are deciding, well, can he just go out and sell this property? Or does she have to do something else? What is going to happen here? The courts decided that he gets the property back because he's been making the payments. Check this out. So we're going to be going through some court proceedings right now to see if I can just sell the house outright myself without having this. So Fran's hearing this. Fran's hearing this, and she's like, "Okay, it's in court. It, it's in court proceedings. It's probably going to take some time to get this through and to be able to really figure out if I can sell this property." So this is like a maybe in the future response here. Well, I don't live there anymore. My ex-wife lives there. We're in a court battle right now because I've been making the payments on this, and uh, I need to find out if I'm able to sell this property. And uh, you. Do you think mm -hmm. that can be resolved in the next few months? Um, Great question. She's trying to figure out timeline, right? How long did you start the process? Is this just happening? Are you thinking about it? When you ask something about when, when you ask about timelines, it helps to kind of secure and, and get a better idea of where they're at in the process. Are they truly serious? Are, have they hired an attorney? Are they getting in front of a judge? Are they putting together the right paperwork for these type of things? If none of that has started yet, then you have to walk them down a different path. But if it's already started, Started now, you're jumping in at the perfect moment. I love it. Obviously, it depends on the course. I don't know. We're just kind of sitting here waiting. Oh, maybe, hopefully. You guys are more welcome to call back. Okay, for sure. Well, um, Gary, if we were to buy your place in cash and pay all the closing, she's going for it. She's going for it. You know what? Let's assume that the courts, it's going through the courts and he gets the ownership of the property and he's the decision maker now. What, what will you take for it? Watch it. This is, when I hear this, I want you guys all to feel this. Like, I want you to get the goosebumps that I felt when I heard this, because this is something that I heard every single month. Every single month with consistently calling, I would have this conversation where they just throw out a ridiculous price. It costs with no real estate commissions and we bought it as is. What would be um, the ballpark price point you might uh, ask just to see if it might be something we could follow up on? I really don't care. I have 50000 I really don't care. I really, he literally just, I really don't care. Uh, 50, I, I owe uh, 48,000. Here he goes. I owe 48,000. So 50 would be fine, right? It's down to like 48, 49,000. I'll take 50,000. I really don't care. I just want to get rid of it. Uh, Nobody says that. That's not true. That can't possibly happen. That's all fantasy land. Brent, you're up there saying that people just, you know, they'll just sell their properties to get rid of it for speed and convenience. But I haven't seen that. I've talked to 13 people and it hasn't happened. It will happen. It is inevitable. It happens every single time. If you make enough calls and have enough quality conversations, you cannot lose in this business. You need to have faith. You need to really push through it. And when you have a conversation like this, 
It needs to be an expectation because if you don't have an expectation that you're going to have a conversation like this, it might slip right past your hands. It might go right into our bucket, right? Right into everybody else that's expecting to find big, massive deals, right? You got to be on, you got to be ready for it. You got to assume that they're going to just, yeah, whatever. I want to get rid of it, right? That's the assumption that you have to have going into all of these calls. Now, the reaction that you have based on, you know, what, what they're telling you is different, right? If they're telling you no, or if they're telling you they want a bunch for it or whatever else, but I'm always thinking in my head, they're wanting to trade in their car for the new car and they want to do it and they know that they're not going to get the full market value for it because they want speed and convenience. That's the mentality. You go in with that mentality. That's what you find. And this is what we found here. Proof. Okay. All right. Um, Obviously more if uh, I can. <laughs> we ended up at 68,000. We ended up at 68,000 to help him cover all of his uh, attorney costs and be done with it. And he couldn't be happier. Now we're, we're dealing with working with the ex-wife in the house. She's finding a new place. It's actually, I mean, it's not in great condition as you can um, kind of uh, assume it wouldn't be for somebody that's not paying for the property, uh, but it's not bad. It's really not that bad. And we're gonna work with her and we're gonna get her uh, to move on and get into another place. Um, and that's going pretty smooth. But I mean, this is this happens. These calls happen. That's my low end ballpark. Um, okay, well, um, and then, uh, what is it? Is, is it three bedrooms and two baths? Or is it two bedrooms and two Remember, once you're having these conversations, we're working on four things. Condition, timeline, motivation, price. Condition, timeline, motivation, price. All right? We've got the timeline. He's like, hopefully, if the courts go through in the next few months, right, I, I'll be able to make a decision on it. She's kind of getting the condition here. She doesn't, she doesn't dig too deep because Fran understands that if it's in the court, uh, just pass it over to Chad and Chad's going to dig a little bit deeper on this thing and really build the build the relationship because it could be a relationship that takes a few months to be able to mature and to build a lot of trust and to, you know, just be in front of them a lot. So she's like, you know what, I'm going to step out of this thing. I'm going to shorten this conversation. I'm going to send it straight to Chad. Chad's going to call him right away. Uh, three and two. It is a three and two. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, Gary. Well, listen, I'm calling from off Arizona with my partner, Chad. So I'll, I'll tell him that you're kind of in a legal battle over right. it. And, you know, at some point in the next few months, maybe you could um, iron that out. But, um, yeah. but anyway, I'll. So she doesn't know. She's like, nah, I've heard this before. Typically, if it's in a legal battle, it takes forever. And, um, you know, Maybe it's a 50-50 if he gets the property or not. So I'm going to just hand it over to my partner, Chad, which is our acquisition manager. And boom, that's how you transition. That's how your your uh, phone prospector transitions to your actual salespeople or to you. Um, I'll put it on uh, here to maybe check back in with you. That's a, that's a, maybe. Yeah, like first, first part of that. Maybe maybe fine. This, oh. this is my favorite part. It's like she's pulling away a little bit. And, and, and something that you have to understand, and this is really proof of this, is sometimes when you gently pull away, they're going to come follow you. Oftentimes, when you gently pull away, they come follow you, right? If a dog's out there, your dog's out in the street and you're trying to chase after it, runs after it. It's like, no, I'm, I'm going to run after it. But if you're like, come on, get in the car and you open up the door, they jump in the car, right? You kind of pull away a little bit. Same thing's happening right here. She's pulling away a little bit. She's pulling away one because she wants to get it over to Chad because build that relationship. That's probably most of it. But two, she knows, like, is this guy serious? Let's find out. Watch this. Okay, Gary, sounds good. All right. Well, I mean, thanks obviously so much for all your help. I mean, obviously that's, uh, I mean, how do I know if that offers something that y'all can do? Uh, um, well, he, well, how do I know if that offer is something that I could do? And she literally goes, uh, <laughs> it's so fantastic. Uh, I don't know. Right. Pulling away, pulling away. He's like, how do I know that this is even possible? How do I know that we're even in the ballpark? Um, that's why I'm going to get Chad to, um, give you a call okay. and give you okay. his personal, uh, information, his cell phone and his personal information. So you guys can talk about it but we are looking for options around that area so uh, i'm i know he'll be interested in talking to you but i appreciate your help there you have a oh, thank day. you you too. 
Two minutes, 47 seconds. Two minutes, 47 seconds. Are you kidding me? Two minutes, 47 seconds, passes it on to Chad. Four months later, we close this deal for 68,000. You've seen the comps. Comps are in the 300s, same, same size floor plan. Built in 1995. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. This cold call breakdown, the intention behind this is to inspire to really let you understand that this is real, that this isn't theory, this is science. If you have enough quality conversations with distressed property owners, you win. If you like that video, hit that subscribe button. We come out with new videos every single day. And if you want your questions answered, like you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, make sure that you join us for the live show every single Wednesday. I will see you there.